My people, wonder shall never end. This one is unbelievable. Now, wow. How far can these people go? Eh? When are they going to stop? If all of this information we're hearing is the truth. Hmm. Now, wow. We know we need to be very careful and very prayerful because these oloris, they can go extra mile. Even, even to the point of body parts, my people, wonder shall never end. Hey, hey, they want to, they want to clear Naomi's name from the history. That is what they are planning to do. But the God that she serves is bigger than all of them. And God will not allow that to happen. Because with this kind of information we are hearing, eh, hey, hey, hey. But in any case, God big past them. According to what we they hear right now, they said, uh, Naomi have a place where she normally dress her hair. And this place that she dresses her hair, they said the person have uh, some apprentice, all these uh, girls that are learning work with them. And you know that all the soloists, they can go extra mile. And uh, some of these apprentices, them, who likes money more than the madam, they can uh, take bribe, they can collect money to do the, un the unthinkable, you know? Because I believe that uh, some of the reasons why a lot of people doesn't go to salon, instead they will employ home service, uh, 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 home service to take care of their hair, is because of security reasons. Because with this kind of news, me too, I am somehow afraid. Oh, because you don't know who is who. You don't know who is who. If anybody wants to get you, they can go extra mile, going to where you make your hairs, going to where you bob your hairs, going to where. You do certain things that has to do with your body parts so that they will get what they want. Hmm. But I know that uh, as long as God is not in that agreement with them, it is not going to work. So right now, they say Quinomi went to the saloon where she used to go and dress her hair. Uh -huh. And on getting to that place, something happened. Something that got everybody worried. They said she was doing her hair. And whenever she comes, she always requires that it is the madam who do the hair, as in the woman, the person in charge of the place, the owner of the salon that takes care of her hair. So they said this person was doing it to one of the apprentices. Maybe these people have sought her out, have sorted her out. So this person, they said she was those one. Come on, give me this one. Give me this one. And why they were doing it, she, uh, the madam doesn't know that they have ulterior motive, that they are working for the Oloris, even to the point that these people have to dress Queen Naomi to her hairdresser. Hey, oh, my people, wonder shall never end. They said why the woman was doing Quinomi's hair, that Quinomi's hair is very full and the, it is not that kind of hair that is always weak. So if a hair cut out of it, you will know, you know. And when she was combing, you know that definitely, no matter how good your hair is, while you are combing it, a hair or hairs must drop from it. So they said why the woman was doing the hair, oh. then hair drops from the uh, comb that the woman was using to comb her hair. Then a particular uh, 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 girl in that their salon dropped, as in she intentionally threw that money to that direction where the hair fell. And her mission was, while picking the money, she will pick the hair. But she doesn't know that someone was observing this. I don't know if that person came with Queen Naomi or the person is in that shop already. You know that when God wants to do miracle for you, how it will happen, you will not know. Queen Naomi's mind wasn't on that. Her mind, she was focused on do my hair, let me go and have a busy schedule, that, that kind of stuff. Then, why this young lady that threw the money? They said someone saw her when she threw the money, you know, and that person started monitoring her. So when she bent down to pick the money, she also picked Queen Naomi's hair that dropped on the floor. And they said that young lady that was looking at her asked her, what are you doing with that hair? Because I saw you, you intentionally threw that money there for a reason, because the money did not fall off from you. I saw when you brought out the money and threw it. So what are you doing with the hair? It is obvious that the reason you threw that money was for you to go get that hair that is there. Claiming that you are picking your money. They said she was she dropped the hair immediately, you know, telling the uh, the other lady, What are you what are you saying? That she did not pick any hair, she only picked her money, this and that. They said she started denying it. And behold, it's even good to always use the camera. 
You see that anywhere, any salon or some of this uh, shopping uh, mall that we go, where there is cam uh, this CCTV camera, it's always set up cases like this very easy. So when they we are dragging it, they we are dragging it. They, it, looks, it looks as if the girl is uh, accusing her wrongly. The lady is accusing her wrongly. When Nomi too was surprised, what are they doing with my hair? And knowing that she needs to play safe, she was serious about it. What do you mean? How do we find out if she's not lying or if she's lying? You know, before you know it, the madam too take uh, take the matter serious. And when the lady was still denying it that she did not pick any hair, or she it was just her money that she picked. She did not pick any. The other lady was saying that she saw her when she threw her money in that direction. That she was observant. The moment that hair dropped from the comb that the woman is using to comb with Naomi's hair, they said she dropped her own money on in that direction too. So the lady, the other lady that was watchful enough, saw her, and at that point. The lady was saying, I saw you. I know what I saw. I know what I see and all of that. And she was saying, you are lying. You are accusing me wrongly. I don't know what. Before you know it, they said she started crying. And at that point, Queen Naomi said, okay, let it go. I don't know. I don't even, you know. And the, the madam said, no, 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 no. Since like this cannot happen in, in her shop, that it is going to bring bad name. It is going to ruin their reputation, that they have a greater name to maintain. And at that point, they said the woman went and check the cctv camera they saw her when she dropped the money and they saw her when she picked the money and picked the hair and the moment that lady shouted she dropped the hair hey my people they say at that point she she can't lie again now she just opened her mouth and cannot close it queen Naomi too was shocked she was shocked and at that point they said they started uh asking the lady question they, they, they even threatened to get a police to arrest her. It was at that point that she started claiming that it is one woman who, it is one woman who uh, gave her 200000 to get her with Naomi's hair, that they wanted to use it to check something. They wanted to use it to do something. And because they paid her 200000 and they said the woman also promised her $1 million if she can be able to get the hair. So who will not accept one million naira this time, especially those people who doesn't have conscience? So that was why she is trying to get that hair. And when they asked her to call the woman and tell the woman that she have gotten the hair, they said she called the woman and told the woman that uh, uh, she have gotten the hair or she come here and collect it. Too. The woman said the woman caught and told. Okay, they said the woman told her, "I want you not to call me; that I will be the one to call you." You know, and they said the woman caught. When they checked the the call. Behold, it was uh, all over TikTok from what we are hearing now, allegedly. They said Queen Naomi could not, as in she opened her mouth, she could not close it. And the lady in question, when they started beating her, she started confessing, saying that there is another person, another woman that have come to make such requests. And that person have also promised to pay her one million naira if she will be able to get it. Who is that person? We don't know. My people wonder shall never end. Hey, so these people can go as far as doing this. Queen Naomi, oh my God, will always protect you. If this information is true, God is going to protect you. No matter how hard they try to get to you, God will always backfire, send it back to them, and it will not get to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I've always reminded you, these are all alleged information, okay? Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Love you guys.